All right, this morning for the private video, we're going to look at how to index multiple string fields, okay? So let's suppose that we had a blog and we had two fields. One field was a blog post and one field was a cliff note to the blog. So it's like a one sentence summary of our post, okay? And let's suppose that we wanted to create an index on both of those fields, okay? And so those are our only two string fields in the collection, okay? Now, this is not something that we always need to do. For instance, if we import, let's say, Twitter data in JSON and we just have tweets, I don't really, I've never seen the need to index multiple uh, string fields. It's really tweets that I want to index. So in this example, we're going to be indexing a couple of fields in our collection new strings. So let's look at our collection new strings and we'll notice that we have string one and two, string two fields. And then we'll also notice that if we get the indexes on that collection that we only have an index currently on the ID field. So what we want is we want an index on string one and string two. It's gonna cover both. So we want the indexes across the board, okay? So how can we do that? So we're gonna do something very similar that we did to the previous video in which we added a string index. We're going to say db.newstrings. Ensure index. So it's the same command. Now we're going to specify and it's going to look different. Okay? So there's going to be two things I'm going to do here. The first is I'm going to specify all of the string fields. And the way I'm going to do that is place in the dollar sign star star. And then I'm going to specify text. So what does this do? So dollar sign star star is says all of the string fields in a collection are going to be indexed, okay? So any field that has string content, that is going to index it, okay? So it's kind of like, a, think of it in SQL as like a, uh, what is it, a single apostrophe, or a single, it's just actually apostrophe, and then you have the percent percent, anything between there is what, wildcard, right? So it's this is a wildcard specifier that says any field that has strings is going to have an index, okay? All right, and then, I had to briefly remember here, so in this case, because if I want to remove an index, I don't want it to come up with its own default name. I want to specify its name. So what I'm gonna call this is I'm gonna say all string fields, and then I'm gonna say underscore index. Okay. Now, everybody has their own uh, naming conventions. Just a good best practice, and that is when it comes to naming object names, and I always know the difference between an experienced database administrator and an inexperienced database administrator for this reason, even in SQL Server. An inexperienced database administrator doesn't see a lot of value in specifying, let's say, a procedure name as a procedure or an index name is an index, whereas a non-DBA, or where, I'm sorry, whereas an experienced DBA knows the value in that. So you'll notice in this case, um, I am specifying this name as, uh, you know, this all string field index. That index can be very important because when it comes to objects, it's nice to be able to identify that. And so we'll see now that we have two indexes and we have this index here that has basically indexed these text fields, all of the fields that have strings in them. And we can see the fields that have strings in them, obviously, because they're within quotation marks, okay? So basically what this does is this indexes all of our string fields on our collection.